Long before the industry standardised on micro SD cards, there used to be a good number of different formats of memory cards. The most common, however, was compact flash. Now they came in various sizes. This is my original 4 megabyte compact flash card that I purchased in around 1998. We had 16, 32 and 128 megabytes. Yes, megabytes, not gigabytes. So these were incredibly expensive and they were mostly used in digital cameras. Now this memory card, I believe, cost about £50 back in the day. Goodness only knows what that is for inflation, but it would be a tremendous amount of money. 16 megabytes, 32 megabytes, th another 32 and a 128 megabyte card. You could just imagine the cost of these cards back in the day. Now, we didn't have a digital camera until about 1999, so what did I need a memory card like this for? Well, my father bought this for me. This is a HP 300LX Windows CE handheld PC. Now this, because it's a 300LX, only has two megabytes of internal storage. Now, the way Windows CE handles storage is you associate some of the memory to storage like a RAM disk and the rest of the storage is used for application memory. So really I had just under one megabyte of disk space. Now the 300LX doesn't come with a compact flash card slot like the 320 does but it also does come with a PCMCIA card adapter. So with my four megabyte card I could put it in a PCMCA card adapter and slide it in the side of my 300 and that way I've increased the, the memory. Now I have a 360 here, same form factor. This was 44 megahertz, and this was 60 megahertz. More or less identical layout. This one has a backlight, this one does not. PC card slots on the sides. Now this one, 320, sorry, 360, has a compact flash card, as well as a PCMJA card slot. So the problem, with this device, the 300, is if you populate the PCMCA card slot with a memory card, you then can't use anything else like a modem or a network card or any of the other PC card devices that were supported by Windows CE. installed the 4 megabyte compact flash card and we still have our PCMCIA card free. The cost of these memory cards back in the day was prohibitively expensive and also you had the issue of capacity. Because flash memory was in its infancy you could only get certain sizes and as time progressed we got the larger and larger cards. However, IBM and Hitachi came out with an, a wonderful idea. They announced the microdrive. This is a compact flash size card, slightly thicker, however. But the capacity is 340 megabytes. Now when this was introduced, there was two versions. There was the 170 megabyte version and the 340 megabyte version. And how I would have loved to have had this when I was younger. I recently found out, however, that this wouldn't have worked in my palm top PC due to the requirement of it running in Windows CE 2.11. So this also won't work in the 360. 
even if I put it in the compact uh, the PCMCIA card slot. What's interesting to note is because this drive is marginally thicker than most compact flash cards, is that it won't fit in the compact flash card slot, it's just too big. Because of the thickness, you also can't use it in a standard PCMCIA to compact flash adapter. You have to use the included one. Now I've also got plugged in at the moment a USB card reader because this will work with compact flash but also with a micro drive. But this is only connected with USB 1.0 so it's quite slow. Now it's got four memory card slots on here so we have memory stick, we have a smart media, SD and compact flash. So if we get a we get a compact flash card and plug that in. Now when we go to F drive, we can see the contents of it. I also have a smart media card. This is an eight megabyte card. If we put that in, And read that in Windows as well. So whilst the PC is booting, why did IBM launch such a tiny drive? And if we look back at the original handheld PCs, this is a compact C140 device. This also has a PC card slot on it. But no compact flash. So the only way you could expand the memory is to use a compact flash in a PCMCA adapter. So why didn't these come with traditional hard drives? Well here we can see an IBM Travel Star hard drive. This is a 10 gigabyte drive. It's an IDE connection which would have been around the kind of time perhaps a little bit later due to the capacity. But if we compare the size of this device this, to this drive, it's massive. This disc would have taken up nearly all of the space inside the device. And the device would have had to be much bigger. But also the draw of the power of these devices, they, they do tend to take quite a lot of power. Whereas compact flash takes hardly anything. The micro drive does draw slightly more power than the compact flash card. I'm going to pause the video here because I may need to go and dr download a driver. Unfortunately, Windows 98 has decided that it doesn't want to be able to read my microdrive. So I've brought out my trusty John Arder 820. Now this is a Windows CE device. It's not a handheld PC. It's about I'd say it's about three times larger than a handheld PC. However, I have installed the drivers for this. So when I put it in, there's a small little noise. And here we have a storage card. Now currently there's nothing on it. If we take a 128 megabyte storage card, compact flash card and put it in the compact flash side. If we now go up, we'll see two devices. So under here we can see we have a micro drive folder with various folders in it for the different platforms that Windows CE supported. Now the reason why I'm plugged into my monitor is because this Windows CE device has an absolutely terrible display. It's 640 by 480 in 256 colours, however it's CSTN or DSTN, one of the two, and it has the most atrocious screen refresh rate. It's, it's in the hundreds of milliseconds rather than the milliseconds, so as the mouse is moving around on the screen on the actual device, you get this terrible trailing of, of the mouse pointer, like you've got mouse trails turned on, but yeah, so it also flickers quite a bit. I thought it would be better if we plugged it into a, a slightly better display. So what I want to quickly do is I have a backup folder here. 
Now this contains a 2.7 megabyte backup and this was backed up using the built-in backup software. So this allows me to back up the, the current state of the device and also restore the device from a, from a, a backup. Now I would suggest users of Windows CE do that because Windows CE is notorious for losing your data when there's no power. It's also quite interesting to note that this 640 by 48 display Windows CE really isn't optimized to take advantage of, of higher resolutions than 640 by 240 or you have lots of wasted space. However, it is nice. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to copy it to the internal memory of the device. Data transfer rates in Windows CE are terribly slow anyway. There we go, so that's copied over to the internal storage. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that back up. I'm going to copy it over to the microdrive. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the backup from the compact flash card. Right, let's delete that backup. Let's go to my documents. Let's copy that to the compact flash card to see if that's going to be any quicker. I actually think copying it to the compact flash card is much slower than copying it to the microdrive. Right, so here's storage card two which is the compact flash card. There's 99, 99 and a half megabytes of free disk space. Now this piece of software doesn't read the disk space back properly. Basically it says that 50% of the disk is used, but actually it's not, it's only two megabytes, so it's not terribly reliable. Right, let's do another test. Let's copy over some wallpaper. So I have two images here, they're 301 kilobytes each, 600 mega uh, kilobytes in total. We'll copy that and we'll copy it directly to the microdrive, which is storage card. So I can hear the drive clicking. So that's finished. And if we copy those over to Compact Flash card, the system properties you'll see the processor is a strong arm SA1100. The device has 16 megabytes of memory. Expansion slot one we have the compact flash, the 128 megabyte compact flash card and expansion slot two which is the PCMCA card slot we have the IBM microdrive and this is running Windows C 2.11 or handheld PC version 3.8. It won't work on Windows 
CE 1.0 and it also won't work on Windows CE 2.0, it has to be 2.11. So there's a quick look at the IBM Microdrive. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, see you in the next one.